Hello everyone, welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be making a little phone grip with this design, the blue and white Yeti. So I just found out that my six-year-old cousin absolutely loves my videos, and so I asked him what design he would like to see, and he said that he'd like to see the Yeti. So to start, I went with this white phone grip. I thought it'd look more better for a snow theme. And these phone grips I got on Etsy. I'll put the link down below for you. They have a really nice strong adhesive, so I really like them a lot. And then I have this cookie cutter that cuts the perfect shape of them, so that is really awesome too. I got that on Amazon. I'm only going to have his upper torso and his head, so then you can see more of the details of it and so it's not too tiny where you can't see what it is. And I'm using Sculpey 3 polymer baking clay. And as a word of advice, do not bake this on the phone grip. It will melt the plastic and you'll get this really bad smell in your toaster oven. The phone grip is not for baking. Do not bake it. <laughs> okay, and then I wanted to add a little blue belly on him as well because I think it's so cute. And some blue hands. And then to add some hair to him, I used the clay at the top and used a needle tool to fan it out like it was fur. And you don't have to get any expensive or fancy tools. You can use a needle or you can use a pointed end tool at your house. Even a pen that won't, like that doesn't have any ink in it left, you can use that too. Just something to get that design. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then I went around the whole little Yeti and added that fur texture. And there's some eyes for him too. I really enjoy making these phone grips. They're a lot of fun. And they're practical too because you could use them again. They're not just going to sit around. And I'm going to add a little mouth for it too. Give him a little smile. And then we're going to scrape this off of here. And I'm going to put it on a baking tray and it will be ready to bake. Okay, and once it's cooled, you want to make sure it's cool to the touch because it can hurt your fingers. I'm going to add a nice adhesive to the base. This one I really enjoy. It's like an epoxy adhesive. It tends to stick things together really well with almost like this gelling glue, and I got it at the dollar store, and I really like it. All right, so we're going to let that dry a little bit, and once that base is dried, I'm going to go through with an acrylic paint marker and add some snowflakes. And you could probably see my neighbor's cat poking in and out of the screen. He likes to come up when I'm making arts and crafts. All right, so that's that for this little phone grip. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I also hope that my cousin enjoyed it a lot too. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for more videos. Bye.